wow really that's 200 bucks i spent on this kit and that is my alcohol prep pad look at that so that is supposed to clean all of these pieces Hey guys, what's going on? I hope everybody had a wonderful 4th of July weekend. We are currently at my parents' place on a little mini vacation. I got the Celica with me right now. The last thing we did with the Celica would have been these wheels. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a card somewhere up here so you can check that out. But little by little, this car is getting more and more to the way that I want it. And that's honestly why I think all of us love cars is you get to make them your own. So that was a couple weeks ago and we're about due for the next upgrade on the Celica, which is gonna be kind of an aesthetic interior mod. So the wheels obviously were for looks as well but I did upgrade the brakes drilled and slotted rotors stop tech pads and then I also added the spacers just to get the fitment and stance a little bit better and in theory that should improve your handling just a little bit because you got a wider track width but the next part I got for the car I've been waiting about three months for and it's actually right here that is a real carbon fiber dash overlay kit for the inside of the car so it's going to start storming pretty soon here and i thought perfect so i'm going to sit inside the car anyway i might even turn the ac on get a little wild and then we also have one more surprise right in here so let's get into the car and get this project going all right all right so this is the dash overlay kit real carbon fiber it was not cheap it was about 200 dollars. there's this board and then there's a whole nother board of pieces it's got some cleaning wipes and some adhesive promoter the back side is just 3m um, at 200 bucks, I'm kind of nervous, but we're going to set you guys up and I guess we're going to give this a whirl. Wow, really? That's 200 bucks I spent on this kit and that is my alcohol prep pad. That's kind of hilarious. And I just dropped it. Look at that. So that is supposed to clean all of these pieces because we got pieces to go up there, here, on the doors. Yeah, that's kind of funny. But anyway, let's wipe down. I'm going to start with this center section here, clean it up. Then there's a promoter you're supposed to use, and we'll try to stick this on. Starting to come together, guys. This one really sucked. I was, because it shows you still all the controls and words. I just tried pulling like a corner of the masking off the back and, you know, starting. And then as you go, you can kind of straighten it out. This one, I couldn't do that because I couldn't see any of these little spots. So I just pulled it off and hoped for the best. And I lined up these two little white dots and everything actually lined up really good. So after much difficulty and frustration, I think this looks a lot better. All right, so there is the carbon fiber dash overlay kit. Don't mind the dust in here. I did clean everything off the pieces where the kit got adhered to. Overall, I'd say I'm pretty happy with it. Got this shift knob that I thought was pretty cool. Thought it looked pretty good with the Crown Royal shift bag, which I know is super cliche, but I've always liked it. Um, you know, there's some pieces of this kit that fit really nice, like around all the temperature controls. Really impressed with that. This, I feel like they got lazy. Like this is exactly how it's supposed to be. It's not upside down and it just looks kind of odd. The door accents I do like. I think that looks pretty good. And then they have a little one that goes up by the speedo there. Don't know if I'll keep that piece or not. I might just paint that better myself but as far as the center goes with the glove box compartment and the center stacker on the radio I think it just adds a nice little touch to the car all right guys so we're wrapping this video up on the Celica GTS interior dress up with the carbon fiber dash overlay kit a day later so yesterday the weather was really crappy it was actually storming out while I was putting the kit in the car I think it turned out pretty good for the money I don't know if I would buy it again necessarily I think you could get similar results with a vinyl wrap I do like the fact that it sticks up just a little bit kind of like those cheesy old bubble decals they used in the 90s but I think it looks really really good so I was trying to film inside the car with it storming with the AC on and the camera was vibrating it just wasn't working out too good so i hope you guys enjoyed the video it's one of those things once in a while you make a video and it's just not up to your expectation so i hope it was at least still entertaining next on the celica we're gonna pop the hood really quick and then i'm gonna show you kind of what we got going next we're gonna work on some intake stuff 
All right, so we'll explain all the parts when we get to this stage because as you know, modding cards is ridiculously expensive. But we got this eBay short ram in here and it's absolutely driving me crazy. You look right here, the bracket completely snapped off. The filter isn't that great. So what we're gonna do is upgrade that. I haven't quite decided yet if I'm just gonna get an eBay one again and then put a good filter on it or if I'm just gonna pay the big bucks and get the real one. It's really tough to spend the money on a name brand like a KNN because I mean, it's literally a U shape piece of tube and a filter but the other things we're going to do is we're going to replace this stock mass airflow sensor we'll explain the benefits of that we're going with one from jet performance and then we're going to put a one-off throttle body spacer on the car again we'll explain how this stuff is going to help us once we get to that point we look over here at the intake. Now on the 2ZZ, this intake is designed pretty well from the factory, but we're gonna take it off and do a little port and polish inside the runners here. Um, I'm not gonna spend a thousand dollars on the aftermarket one that's beneficial. Eventually, we do wanna take the exhaust manifold off the backside, which is way tucked back there, so that we can port match that as well. As you know, cars are super expensive. So for the intake runners, I actually just got my set of carbide bits. And then we also have to buy this stuff with the intake. If I go with name brand and that mass airflow, that's gonna run about $400. All right, guys, so that's gonna wrap up this episode with the Celica GTS. Just a little bit of interior dress up to break up some of that classic early 2000s slash 90s style interior. I think it looks really good. Drop a comment down below if you have any questions or just let me know what you think of the car. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, if you subscribe, and watch the whole video maybe give me a thumbs up all that stuff really helps me out and i truly appreciate it thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time